Welcome to To The Turf. I'm Brenna Green. Joshua Robinson is off this week, so we subbed uh, this random dude hey. in over here. What up? Hey, my name's Mark Hanrahan. I work here for Krem, too. That's me in high school, a cool 20 years ago. How embarrassing is that? By the way, I played safety in college. I know a few things. Well, you used to know a few things about high school football, but maybe I'll try, to get, try it out again tonight. Man, well, starting this show off with Mark <laughs> is a real, real treat, everybody. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. It never gets old. Uh, let's head to the games. First off, <laughs> LC and Mount Spokane. The Wildcats coming off a heartbreaking loss last week where they almost pulled off a last second comeback against Central Valley. Charles Northern with the quarterback keeper. He takes it up the middle. Looks to be gone on an easy touchdown run, but the Wildcats Aiden Prado pulls the DK Metcalf, <laughs> catches up to Charles, swipes the ball and recovers, and then it's Prado on offense. He takes the handoff and plows in for the touchdown as the Wildcats go up 19-0. Do you think Prado's done? Nope. Far from it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> of course, quarterback Kellen Flanagan sends the special delivery as the ball drops right in the hands of, you guessed it, Prado for the 55-yard touchdown. Mount Spokane gets a 27-0 shutout of LC. Homecoming for the class of 1971 tonight at Coeur d'Alene, and my man is in the spirit. Let's go. Vikings <laughs> taking on the Saxons midway through the first. No score. Braden Bankston hits Isaiah Griffin, and that changes that. 6 nothing Vikings. <laughs> you like that celebration right there? <laughs> Very good. Uh, next play, Coeur d'Alene goes for two. Evan Mallory, easy money. Vikings up 8 nothing. Next play, why not go double or nothing? Wyatt Porter recovers the onside kick. Ooh. Then Coeur d'Alene scores on the next possession. Gunner Julio barrels in, and at that point I decided I'd seen enough, and I was right. CBA wins 48 to nothing. My goodness. Well, in the first of many rivalry matchups tonight, Central Valley hosting U High. This is a we'll good pick one. it up late. Just a minute left in the Kai game. Fourth quarter, CBQB Luke Abshire with the heave and finds wow. wide receiver Justin Finn. He is out of bounds past midfield. Next play, Abshire chucks it to wide receiver Hudson Dayton right here. He gets down to the U High seven in the waning seconds of the game. Three seconds left on the clock. Here we go. Aiden LaBrosse game go, winning 27 year old field goal Central go. Valley with a dramatic 27-24 victory. That's an exciting football game right there folks. Cheney made the move up to three years last year and so far it has been a rough transition hosting Meade this week. The Panthers would prove to not be nice guests. Meade up 27 in the second quarter. Hand off to Colby Price as he breezes his way into the end zone there from 14 yards out. The roughest contact came out of the end zone 34-0 Meade. Panthers led it by 37 at the half. Second half, more of the same. Skyler Harkness up the gut from six yards out. All meet tonight as they clawed the Blackhawks 44 to zero. We head back over the border to Lake City at Sam Point where it was homecoming night. And the first quarter homecoming king, Garrett Cox takes the screen pass only right, right? all the way to the house. Only, only Check right. Check it out right here. He's a scout kid right there. Good yes. luck tackling him. Uh, put the Bulldogs up 14-0. Lake City would respond, though, as Jackson Pettit finds Zach Johnson in the back of the end zone for his sick toe-tap TD catch to cut it to 14-7. Pick it up in the third quarter now as Parker Pettit finds wide open Max Frank, who takes it in for the touchdown to put Sampling up 21-7. Lake City would come back, though, again, following an interception. Braden Ross would pitch it in on the low goal line, rather, to make this game 21-13. But when Sam Point needed to put the game away, what did they do? Well, that's right. Give it all to Garrett to Cox, right? King. Good luck tackling that guy. Yeah. He punches it in. Third touchdown of the game. That would be all she wrote. Sam Point wins 28 to 13. To tonight's next rivalry showdown between Moscow and Lewiston. Lewiston running back Cruz Hepburn scores two quick touchdowns to start the game. First, we'll start with the long pass from QB Jace McCarcher. Bengals with the early lead. Next is Hepburn showing his running skills. Fools everyone, including our cameraman. Moscow comes back with a trick play to QB Leon Hutton. He laterals the wide receiver Cody Isaacson and then throws a pass to wide receiver Cody Wilson. QB Leon Hutton, short run up the middle to tie the game 13 to 13, but that was the last hurrah for the Bears. Lewiston runs away to an easy 48-13 win. Post Falls headed to the Tri-Cities tonight to take on Pasco. Opening drive. This is indicative of this game. Dylan Wolf takes off and he says, see you later. <laughs> All the way to the house. Post there we falls go. up 7 nothing, just like that. We're going to let him score here. Trojans handle business in this one, 51-7. to 
And our final rivalry game of the evening, Lakeland hosting Timberlake, third quarter, Lakeland cruising, Devin Suko, he's cruising as well, baby, takes off, the Hawks look like they're going to score oh. again. He eventually gets taken down. Then on third down and five, Mark, you ever heard of somebody running angry? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that is exactly Rumbling, what our stumbling, friend does bumbling. here. One of the angriest <laughs> runs I've ever seen Come at the on. high school level. My Nobody's goodness. getting John Cornish. And then same possession. Suko catches into Alden Waddington. But uh, after the play is something I I've never seen before in my career. Waddington, he spots me and uh -oh. apparently morphs into an NFL player. Yeah. <laughs> yes, folks. Uh -oh. This got him an unsportsmanlike. Oh, but boy. the least I can do is give him a picture. Hey, there you go. Frame that one. Right? There we go. Put it Lakeland on your fridge, young fella. 15 to nothing. Oh, they earned that one. That's for sure. They absolutely did. All right. Well, now it's time for this week's coached up segment. Yeah, we mic'd up Sandpoint's right. Ryan Knowles for his game against Lake City. The Bulldogs coming off a thrilling 43 to 42 overtime victory over Lewiston. To make sure you run off on the poison call or the Peter call. Sprint, don't jog, sprint. Oh, come up, come up, come up. Nice job. Nice job, Corky. Way to go, Corky. Hit him with a machine. Got him, baby. Nice job. Yes! Kick it! Kick it! Let's go. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. Let's go, baby. Oh, nice block! Nice block! Nice block! Nice block! Nice block. Nice block. Hell, 58 is eight yards You hear me? 58 is eight yards downfield. Will you watch it next time? If you're coming, I want you to show. If you're not, I want you to show as well. Let's go, Mayday! Mayday! As we showed you earlier, Sandpoint victorious 28-13 in this one. We'll have more from the small schools after the break.